Hello everyone, I am Travis and this is my YouTube channel, Travis Gets Creative. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking that button and welcome. If you are a returning visitor to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here and I appreciate you taking the time to see what's new. Today I'm going to be working on a whip and chat and yeah, we have a little bit to catch up on. It's a brand new year, so I thought it would be a good time to check in with all of you. Uh, before I forget, don't forget to click that like button. And if you aren't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you clicked the subscribe button and clicked on the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, without further ado, let's get started. I am working on Hallowed Childhood by Rose Prophet Creations. It is a 60 by 80. Um, and as you can see, kind of, I have this section and this section left of this row. And then I have two more rows remaining. I'm working on this canvas for Anxiety Art Adventures and Sparkling Spectrumites event wrap up a whip 24. So I am hoping to get this done at, by the end of this month. Yeah, so I got my drills here. Uh, 498 is this specific color. Um, let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit better. Nope. That's as far as I can zoom you in. Uh, I am using a Nix's Notion shrimp boat tray in a translucent green yellow. And my pin is my Travis Gets Creative logo pin from Diamond Pin Pal. It does have the roll stop there. You can kind of see it right there, that flat edge. And that just means that when you set it down, it won't roll away on you. So I kind of like that feature. I have my Hello, I am Socially Awkward cover minder and my Fox cover minder there to keep me company while I diamond paint. And now I have all of you to keep me company which I appreciate. So let me scoot my chair up a little bit, get a little more comfortable, and we can begin. Uh, before I do anything though, I do want to wish Cindy over at Diamond Painting Fanatics a very happy birthday. Today is her birthday. Um, well, technically it's a few hours yet for me, but since she's so far ahead in the future, the 10th of January, so I want to wish her a very happy birthday. Right. I hope everyone has had a great start to 2024. Um, I know it was interesting for me. Um, I won't go into details with that, but yeah, it was an interesting experience. Uh, what I will say is that my younger sister, who's 15, was caught drinking alcohol. So that's fun. And she did it here at the house, so yeah, not a fun experience, but thankfully my uh, younger brother handled it very well. He's 18 now, so he's got a good head on his shoulders and handled it well. So that was a little unfortunate surprise on New Year's Eve, but... I'm choosing to be optimistic about 2024. Uh, right now I'm just single placing. Um, I do have my multi-placer with Nix's Notions Putty and I have a micro glue dot in the single placer. Um, sometimes when I just want to relax I just single place. So that's what I'm feeling like right now. And it also helps me because I don't have to be so hyper-focused on whether or not they're lining up perfectly, especially when I use the checkerboard method because they kind of snap into place when you go fill them in. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is that I am no longer in the Friends with Benefits group for Rose Profit Creations. Um, I decided to step back because I'm just too busy right now with everything going on 
so I want to wish her well and the company well. Um, codes can be found on other channels, so um, make sure to follow her channel, Rose Profit Creations, here on YouTube, and um, you will be able to find those affiliates or those in the Friends with Benefits program. So yeah, that's one big change that I am doing this year. Um, some of you may know that I am an AI artist with Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, some of my art is being sold on the website as diamond paintings. So I would appreciate it if you go check those out. And if you see anything that catches your eye, I'd love it if you purchase it and post it on social media so I can see your progress. Um, there will be links in the description for that. And I do have a discount code for Diamond Painting Fanatics, which I will share below as well. And if for some reason I forget, just post in the comments and ask me for it and I will give it to you. It's a 10% off code. I guess I could just tell you, it's Travis10. So pretty simple to remember. And that gives you 10% off your order. Well, that's fun. Uh, I've also started getting back into tea, specifically the Chinese way of brewing tea called Gong Fu Cha. Um, it has a higher tea to water ratio with shorter brewing times and multiple infusions. So what it does is it helps to bring out the nuances and flavor changes in the tea from steep to steep. I'm still very much a beginner with that and I'm enjoying the learning process. So far I'm really liking white tea. Um, I had some silver needle tea from Adagio and white tea is kind of floral and a bit grassy. I know that may not sound as good as it is but it really tasted good. Um, folks that are interested in Gong Fu Cha and kind of the Chinese way of making tea I will post some links in the description so that you can check those out um, because they do a much better job explaining that it, explaining it than I do. But yeah, it's been fun. I've enjoyed tasting some teas. And actually, I just received an order from Red Blossom Tea in San Francisco with a handful of samples. So I have those to try as well. Um, I really want to try some oolongs and some black tea and red tea, so it's just been fun watching tea videos on YouTube and learning new things. Cindy laughs at me because I'll tell her I'm watching tea videos and she thinks that sounds boring, <laughs> but I find it interesting and it helps me relax when I have high anxiety, so it's definitely a good thing in my book. And it's kind of odd. It doesn't put me to sleep like some other videos do. Sometimes I'll be watching a true crime video and I'll just start to doze off. I'm like, what is up with me that I can watch a true crime video and fall asleep? But I can watch tea videos all day long and I'm just invested in. It's just kind of one of those weird quirks about humanity. We all have our things that we like. Oh, I do want to also thank Nyx from Nyx's Notions, Nyx Dark Sky, for my Christmas gift. Uh, she sent me a gift that arrived broken, so she sent out a replacement for me so kindly. And this is it. It's a You're the Best mug. And it has on the inside, You're the Greatest. Hope you can see that. Yeah, and it's got this cute star embellishment on the handle, and on the back it says, You put the awe in awesome. So, thank you so much, Nyx. I really love this mug. I need to wash it so I can add it to my tea mug collection, and I can start adding it to the rotation. I'm excited. Um, I still drink tea the Western style, where you use a tea bag and a mug. Um, 
so I still love drinking tea that way too. Uh, my understanding of Gong Fu Cha is that it's more about slowing down and enjoying the experience and kind of it's not about meditating but that's kind of an aspect of it a lot of people find that it helps with mindfulness so I am looking forward to that too I found mindfulness to be something that I do when I have depression and anxiety especially when it's really bad I try to focus on mindfulness as a way to combat it and it usually is helpful um, with varying degrees it just kind of depends just depends on what I'm going through and stuff like that but usually it's helpful oh, someone's sending me a message but I'll wait to respond to that um, let's see the event that I want to do next is Spring Flings, which is hosted by my friend Cindy over at Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, it's going to be April, no, March 1st to April 30th. Um, so there will be a link below to her channel so you can be updated about that as well. Uh, I haven't decided which canvas I'm going to work on yet. But I'm thinking it might be Forest Fox or The Watcher from Craftably. Um, yeah, those are the two I'm leaning toward right now. I really love those two images. They both have foxes, so <laughs> I need, need to work on a fox diamond painting, I think. And they would be perfect to do that with. Um, I also want to thank everyone for their support throughout 2023. It was kind of a difficult year with my dad passing away, but I appreciate everyone kind of rallying around me, sending me messages of support and um, being supportive of my channel, even though I wasn't uploading content that often. I want to try to do better in 2024, hence this very first whipping chat. Um, I don't want to say I'm going to stick to a certain schedule because I don't want to miss that schedule, but I am going to try to be, what's the word, more, the word is escaping me right now, sorry. I'm going to try to be more, Yeah, I can't think of the word, sorry. <laughs> I think it's because I'm on the spot, it's not gonna come. But as soon as I end the video, it's gonna pop into my head. That's usually how it works out. I'm gonna try to do better. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I hope everyone had a great New Year's and that January is shaping up to be a nice month. I know there's some bad weather going on around the country right now snowstorms and the like we have a winter weather advisory here but there is no snow in the forecast so I think it's just going to be cold weather yeah it did snow a little bit the other day but it was just a light dusting and by early afternoon it had all melted so that's kind of nice when it snows like that because then you don't have to deal with as much of the slush and everything I just don't like ice that's the thing that I hate the most especially um, black ice which is hard to see when you're driving Yep, that's no fun. It used to happen a lot when I lived in Missouri, but um, I haven't noticed it happening here. Of course, I barely drive anymore. With the anxiety, it's hard for me to leave the house, so um, I drive like once or twice a week, if that. Well, I usually do, 
at least once a week because I like to drive my car at least once a week so it's not totally sitting. Usually I'll just drive around the block a few times or something to get everything moving. Let's see. I'm going to finish this bit here. I think I'm probably going to get ready to wrap this up because I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, I'm just searching my brain real quick. See, I talked about spring flings. Um, I do have a Redbubble shop, so I'll put that video, video. I'll put that link in the description below, so you can check that out too. Um, I just have like stickers and magnets and postcards so yeah I'm kind of proud of that more of my artwork I'd love it if you check that out I will add that below uh, spring is right around the corner I'm not really looking forward to it but I guess it will be a good thing my birthday is next month, so I'm going to be turning the big 3-9. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, even though it's going to be kind of um, a hard time because it's my first birthday without both of my parents. Um, for those that don't know, my mom passed away in 2015, and my dad passed away last year. So it's going to be an interesting time. but. I'm doing my best and I've got my support system in place. I got my brother and my sisters and I've got Cindy and all of my other friends over on the Diamond Painting Fanatics channel, which I love checking in with every week. So that helps a lot. And of course I got friends like Nix and everyone over at the Nick's Dark Sky Live every Saturday night live. So those are fun too. So that keeps me sociable and stops me from hiding in my cave for too long. <laughs> All right, yeah, um, I just wanna wish everyone a wonderful 2024 and I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and adjust your notifications so you get notified when I post new content. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.